Come on. Is it recording? Okay, now it's recording. This is nice because now you can watch compared to the other. Okay, very good, thank you. Uh, I just have a few more things left to finish up on my uh, part. Mm -hmm. uh, yep, I'll, I'll get it done. Okay. What's the. Can you turn that? Okay. Turn what? Monitor. Okay. okay, oh wow, we're at like 2,000 pounds already. Good? Mm -hmm. How's it going? Okay. Oh, sorry, it's overlaying on top of the previous one. That's interesting. Is that, is that correct? It's 2200. Mm -hmm. That's pretty similar to that earlier. This is fun, but I, I would like to... I personally enjoy it. Faster load rate, so I like to see things tested a little faster. Add, add some C4. Yeah, just add some room. This is my own work, I guess. Uh, this is considered quasi static testing, you know, essentially static. I mean, it's 0.25 inches per minute, but it's sort of uh -huh. uh, almost this. It's almost static, static. Like that. Yeah, very <laughs> like add a little load weight, add a little load weight. You know, this is not considered a, even a moderate speed test where you do more of an impact kind of loading. But again, it all depends on what you're testing for. Right, so it's a very mm -hmm. standard kind of test. Higher speed tests are very unusual and not very standard. <laughs> Drive a car into it. Right, right. <laughs> crash, crush, impact kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But for most engineering structures, this is very adequate testing because static loading is, is pretty... 3,200. Mm -hmm. And for most engineering structures, we're well past the point where you'd ever want to see it loaded. I mean, this is extreme what we're doing here, right? I mean, most engineering structures, hopefully, will never go beyond, you know, you want them to live way down low. You don't want them to that. that. I never got that when I was a student. I never understood. Test something to failure, but then you realize that in real life, you almost never see that. I mean, that's that's a worst case scenario. That's uh, mm -hmm. when bad things happen, they hit structures kind of thing, you know, horn, mm -hmm. uh, like a hurricane or a... Now it's coming down. Yeah. Wow, that's okay. really bending. I see a crack here. Yeah, it's a giant crack here. Oh, it's starting at, what's it called at the top? When it, the compression? That might be why it's a little bit lower. What does it look like? This is crooked, it seems like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit. A little bit. I think the beam's straight, so. What did you what did you say the name of it was when it starts cracking up? Spalling. Spalling. Just this the when when pieces of the structure start uh, cracking and falling away, it's called spalling. Mm -hmm. Something to impress your friends with, you know. <laughs> Mention that and hang around. Spalling. Doesn't come up very often, but Had some trends in this loading. It certainly started very consistent with the previous speed. I mean, almost almost overlap as far as the initial stiffness, but like the failure, the specific yeah. failure is a little. Oh wow. wow. And it dropped pretty quickly. That was a good sized chunk. Once it was a big chunk, then it usually snaps. Wow. Some chunks, little chunks back up. So in theory, if you kept just kept going, if you said I got all day, you kept going, eventually you'd just be pushing on the the, the bar, the mm -hmm. straight and the bar, and all the concrete would fall off, and then the steel would obviously bend, you know, it would bend the wrong way. That would be wow, <laughs> I can see through the beam with this camera. <laughs> I'm surprised it's mostly failing in compression. Very, like I was expecting more, but. Maybe it is like in tension a lot. Oh, you mean like just off the bottom? I feel like, yeah, it would have just yeah. been like ripped apart on the bottom mm -hmm. first. Mm -hmm. Which is sort of cracking. That, that reinforcing bar, as long as it's. Okay. Wow. Wow. That reinforcing bar is, is bonded pretty tightly. That's why it has all the grooves on it. As long uh -huh. as it's bonded to the concrete, it, it acts to prevent that. It, well, it's really holding the bag, so that's why it's not cracking on the bottom. It's as long as it's straight. Yes, yes. Straight up. Right.
and some at kind of down to 45. That's the same mm -hmm. Can you see my hand on it? Uh -huh. No, there's 45 over here. So that's, I think, you know, it's up to you, but however we go on. Oh, it's done. Did it stop? <laughs> Every time we're thinking about it, the size for itself. So the software is just programmed that when the load drops to some percentage of its peak value, I mean, it's going to be